Hello, hi, welcome. So, we are back talking about closets. A while back, uh, I showed my closet at uh, my old apartment, my old two bedroom apartment, where, uh, you know, I had my closet full of all my extra stuff, uh, all the extra game boxes and console boxes and all of that. And uh, yeah, that was when I lived at my uh, old apartment. And that apartment was nice, but uh, you know, I then moved on to uh, this house where I'm in the basement right now, which is where I do all my filming and where all my games are and all of that stuff. And uh, you know, I love it. This is, this is like a dream house of mine. And uh, you know, I couldn't be here without people watching my videos throughout the years. Like, thank you, you, you made it so that I could uh, afford a place like this, and uh, thank you so much. Um, you know, like, I, I'm, I'm very, very thankful for the position I'm in, and, uh, you know, I can be able to store all my console boxes in a closet like this. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't be here without uh, people like you watching throughout the years, so seriously, thank you so much. Uh, and the, uh, the least I can do is show my grimy ass closet. So that was my old cluster of consoles. This is my new one. However, there are two separate uh, clusters of consoles. This one is is a bit different and uh, it's, in, it's in a bit of a construction phase at the moment. Um, so I feel like stuff may be a little more interesting to look at in a construction phase. Uh, so might as well show it right now. The nice thing is we have so much more room now this is the current uh, setup that I have for uh, storing uh, mainly mainly games and accessories. I have a different closet that I'm using mainly for consoles, though I do have uh, some consoles hanging out right here, uh, and uh, a bunch of a uh, bunch of stuff hanging out right here. Uh, but uh, we can look over here. This is where like the water heater and all of that is. So. Uh, that's probably dangerous, but eh, you know. <laughs> if, uh, if, if anything leaks, we'll, we'll, we'll fix that problem when we get there. Uh, but uh, yeah, pretty much uh, right here we have a, a shelf pretty much full of uh, doubles or games that uh, I just I don't really have a, a space for. These are games that are kind of like I, I bought for a one reason or another. Uh, games that uh, I'm looking to do videos about that I kind of want to keep in in one place. Uh, you know, I have a bunch of extra 360 cases right there, and uh, those are like a bunch of bad Wii games. These are old Wii games, bad Wii games that I've I've already featured in like a, a shovelware variety hour episode of Scott the Waz. And then a lot of these are just kind of games that uh, are kind of a part of a set that I that I've been buying. Um, that you know I, I might want to uh, talk about in the future and uh, there's a uh, you know there, there's definitely some organization I'd like to do um, with uh, with a lot of these boxes uh, this is the uh, 3d ps3 TV so this is like a uh, 3d monitor uh, you know it's it's not the biggest TV um, but I always wanted this when I was younger because it was so cheap. It was like a hundred bucks and, and you'd get like a PlayStation. It was it was literally a TV with a PlayStation logo and it also had cool 3D glasses that came with it. And uh, at least MotorStorm Apocalypse did a thing where you could do split screen where two players would wear the 3D glasses and you'd look at the same screen and you'd both see your own viewpoint, which was pretty cool, but uh, I believe MotorStorm Apocalypse was literally the only game that did that. Um, but I did get the TV, but they're harder to find now, strangely enough. Not many people bought them, so, uh, but I did, but I bought it secondhand, and uh, you know, recently, which means I, I spent way more than I, than I really should have, but uh, I, I wanted it. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, another thing that I have is just kind of a, uh, uh, extra shelving. Uh, these are shelves for the uh, IKEA bookcases that I use right here. So uh, I kind of have these on standby if I ever need them. And then uh, these are just extra props that <laughs> I, I bought that uh, I need to I need to put somewhere else. Not not here. I do have an entire prop area uh, for when I film, uh, which I might I might show eventually. <laughs> um, but uh, for the time being, we're talking about junk. But back here uh, are some collector's editions that uh, I bought for uh, specifically like videos 
And uh, yeah, I'm, I, I don't know where to put them right now. Uh, so they're just right here for the time being. And then over here, uh, again, you know, I am still figuring it out. And uh, right here are a bunch of uh, analog um, devices. Analog is a company that is kind of the, uh, the, the best way to put it, you know, you have, you have like audiophile equipment for, uh, you know, you know, like heavy, heavy duty music, uh, music, you know, like headphones or like, like a DAC or like heavy duty, just stuff for audio files. Um, you know, if there's a term for, uh, video game enthusiasts, that is the same as like audio files, analog kind of makes, uh, stuff for like maybe like a tier below that, you know, something where it's just like, you want the, the best quality version of something possible but you don't want like the authentic whatever oh I, I want a game boy made by nintendo i don't want you know blah 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 whatever um yeah analog is pretty much you know a third-party company that creates new consoles that don't use emulation but uh you know they they use some circuit board wizard wizardry it's it's called uh fb F, fgbgp uh is late FPGA uh, and uh, it pretty much may you know whatever it's it's good they're they're good consoles they're they're good they're good methods of playing the old games nowadays uh, that's just stuff from them that I bought uh, and uh, yeah over there just VHS tapes and VHS cases because I don't have anywhere else to put them. Uh, and then over here are pretty much a bunch of uh, the more modern games. And uh, I bought these uh, these little cubbies, pretty much. Uh, the cubbies aren't great for like storage management, uh, as in like you know, uh, let let's say like storing a bunch of stuff, storing as much stuff as humanly possible. But it just does make things a lot easier to store, uh, or as in like uh, manage and organize. Just so then uh, you know, like I just uh, that way, like I'm not stacking stuff upon stuff upon stuff. Uh, if I'm stacking things. Uh, there has to be a limit to how much I stack, so that way, you know, it, it's easier to just keep things a little more tidy that way, I guess. Um, but, yeah, we pretty much have a bunch of uh, the modern stuff over here, and, uh, you know, I try to keep things uh, fairly organized by system, but uh, as I add stuff, um, other things just kind of uh, get added onto the piles so, uh, you know, it, it's a little organized, but not really. Uh, so, eh. Up here I have uh, all my Wii U's, or at least all my boxed Wii U's. Uh, yeah, I just like these. I don't have a specific reason for, for grabbing them. I mean, some of them I really wanted because they, they, ha they are fairly special. Uh, the Zombie U one comes with an art book. Uh, the Mario Kart 8 one comes with a special red Wii wheel. Uh, the Mario Maker one came with uh, the 8-bit uh, uh, modern Mario Amiibo, but uh, that one, uh, you know, isn't rare. But uh, it's just it's just an interesting format of box because it's longer. Uh, and then uh, the uh, Smash Splat Deluxe Edition of uh, the Wii U featuring Smash Brothers and Splatoon, which, weirdly enough, Splatoon got, you know, like, a, a full-on Wii U set, but Smash Brothers never got, like, a full-on Wii U set. It only got this one, where Splatoon got a full-on Wii U set, and then it also got this one, which is, uh, it shares with Smash Brothers, which is interesting. Uh, and then I also have the refurbished ones, which I think may be uh, the, the stupidest, rarest ones that I might own. <laughs> Uh, that one is like a white 32 gigabyte refurbished one. And not only do I have a white 32 gigabyte refurbished Wii U, but I found one in the box. So now I own two. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little hectic because it's so late at night. So I'll try to be a little more mellow. Uh, but, uh, here we have, uh, all the Amiibo that I own. Uh, I wanted to kind of have them organized. Um, I used to kind of keep them in a bin, uh, but now I, I just kind of wanted to, uh, organize them all in a way where, uh, I can immediately grab one if I need it. Uh, and, uh, I want to do something with the boxes. I might put up a shelf like up here, uh, where I can put the, the box, the, uh, the boxed Amiibo that I have. Um, you know, I'm not looking to get any more, frankly. Uh, these are kind of the ones that I'm like, eh, I'm, I'm cool with this amount. Uh, I mean, to be fair, and I never was really like, oh man, I'm going to keep the Metroid Dread Amiibo in box, or I'm going to keep the Zelda and Loftwing Amiibo in box, but I'm just kind of like, I just kind of bought them because I'm like, ah, I kind of want those. And then I just, I never got around to opening them 
Because, uh, because why would I have to? I don't know. But, uh, what I did with the Amiibo, I, I finally fulfilled a, uh, a pretty, uh, lifelong dream. If I've been alive for eight years, maybe. But it was to get a custom-made, uh, Amiibo riser, pretty much. Uh, these you can kind of get on Etsy. They're not really frequently available. Like, uh, it, it's, it's harder to find these. Which I find strange. I find strange that there's not a lot of people making stuff like this. But this is just made out of wood, pretty much. And uh, they just have slots for each amiibo. So, you know, they just kind of fit, you know, perfectly. You know, right there. Uh, I wish it was deeper. But, uh, you know, I wish, like, I don't know, these uh, these shelves were thicker. And, you know, the amiibo fit deeper in there. But uh, for the time being, you know, it, it does the job. It's it's a good it's a good shelf. Um you know, it's not the, the best looker in the world because, you know, it's just kind of unfinished wood. Uh, but, uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, it kind of fits with the rest of the unfinished look over here. But, um, yeah, I kind of put the Smash Brothers Amiibo in a lineup that is a, uh, you know, pretty much kind of like in the order that the characters appeared, which is the order that they're in in, uh, you know, Smash Ultimate. But uh, I, I took some liberties with like uh, what I, you know, just genuinely what I thought made the most sense to me personally. Um, and uh, I kind of, I, I ordered the characters in the order that they appeared via like Smash Brothers uh, for Wii U. Uh, so it's like, you know, like a character like Mewtwo uh, is like all the way over here after Duck Hunt, uh, which you know, is not true, you know, Mewtwo appeared in Melee, but, uh, I kind of wanted Mewtwo over there just because, uh, you know, he's in the Smash Brothers for Wii U style, uh, you know, he appeared after Duck Hunt because he was a DLC character, uh, you know, Ice Climber appeared in Melee, but they're in the Ultimate style, so I put them, uh, when they first debuted as a Smash Brothers Ultimate character via, like, the initial trailer, so, uh, you know, I kind of put them in, uh, relatively chronological order, but in, in my own f***ed up way. And then I have a lot of, like, the extra ones over here. Uh, I didn't, I, I, I think, like, the seller that I, uh, bought these, these shelves from, uh, one, I think they were on vacation when I wanted more, and two, uh, I don't have a lot of, like, extra amiibo outside of, like, the Animal Crossing one, the ones that I bought for the Amiibo Festival episode, and uh, just like a couple extra stragglers here and there. Um, so I just kind of found a, a different shelf, which uh, this one is clear. Um, and it doesn't match this one, but whatever. And then this right here uh, are pretty much all of the, uh, all of the retros, uh, retro games. Uh, all this stuff here is the, is the uh, stuff that I haven't cataloged so far. Or at least like put into the uh, the system at the moment, um, but uh, for the time being, yeah, this is uh, these are the retro games. Thankfully, uh, these uh, these kind of shelves that I bought, uh, thankfully like Game Boy Advance games and like N sixty four, they fit uh, pretty much as perfectly as they possibly could have. So uh, very thankful about that. But uh, yeah, we have a lot of uh, DS stuff down there, and then. Virtual Boy, and then we have uh, NES, and uh, you know pretty much all the uh, really old school stuff. We got like Atari, and uh, and television ColecoVision back there, and then NES, SNES, and uh, Sega Genesis, and then N64 over there. Nothing, nothing too crazy. What's down here? We got uh, <laughs> some stuff I didn't know where to put. Seaman, uh, and then up here, I'm still trying to figure out exactly what to do up here. This I I wanted to get. This is the this is the Ubisoft laser tag game that they showed at like E3 2010. That everybody was like, "That's weird." I had to get it. I didn't. I don't even think people know that released. I, I wanted to get it. I don't even know if it works anymore because it's a PC game and they probably have to connect online. I don't care. I wanted it. But uh, yes, continuing, as you can see, uh, it's it's a mess over here. And uh, that is mainly because some of this stuff I've had in storage for a while. That DJ Hero box, uh, Donkey Konga, I had like in a storage unit because I, I didn't have space for it in my, uh, in my apartment. Um, so I finally got it and now I'm like, all right. <laughs> Where do I put it? But yeah, this area is uh, all of the uh, Wii U accessories that I have. Um, some of them have been uh, taken out because I had to film with them. 
But, uh, yeah, you know, like, the NES Classic Edition was there, but uh, I had to film with it. Um, and, uh, yeah, we have the Wii U accessories over here, and then Nintendo Switch, and the mini consoles, and then over here we have uh, PS3 stuff, and the, uh, the Famicom Mini Collection, which is great. Um, I'd like to try to display those if I could, because, you know, th those are some of my favorite things that I own. But right here, I kind of made this a little Wii U section. I had this uh, this holiday gift guide pamphlet holder uh, that I, I just kind of put there, and then the uh, the complete Pokemon Rumble U set. Uh, I had to put that out here. But yeah, uh, this is pretty much just a much more spread out and uh, organized version of uh, what I had back at the apartment. But... We have bins now. This helps me out tremendously in terms of organization and just keeping things nice and tidy. But uh, I have bought so many damn bins so far. And uh, this really helps me just keep consoles organized with all their accessories and cables and all of that stuff. The problem is with the bins is that it, it, it's not as fun. You know, it feels very corporate there's barely any personality here it's literally just function over form uh which you know hey it is functional and uh it makes just taking this stuff out to play them and uh just enjoy them a lot easier uh, at least for me personally because then i don't have to worry about like putting them back in a, in a way that's aesthetically pleasing but uh it makes using them way easier uh the way the way this works it made, makes that really easy. Uh, pretty much, I bought like uh, these big bins from like Hefty, and uh, these kind of have uh, the consoles that I think require more space. Uh, the Sega Genesis and Nomad and CD and 32X bin is struggling right now, but it just makes it really easy. So, uh, for example, this is the Nintendo Switch bin. And if I want, like, the Ring Fit Adventure Ring Con, uh, you know, I just open that up, and, uh, it's right there. And, of course, uh, I do have, like, a bin above it, but, uh, you know, these, these ones are pretty manageable. These are easy to, like, you know, just take out and, you know, move out of the way, but, uh, most of the time I can just kind of enter these bins, uh, without even moving that one, because, you know, it's just, just open it and, you know, just stick your hand in there, and it's pretty easy. And yeah, uh, originally at the apartment, I pretty much only had like these bins right here. These were like the ones that I had back in the day or that I still have them. And, you know, these were the ones that I used like a year ago just to store like I just had like all of my PlayStation 1 stuff in like that bin. And I, I don't understand how I did that. Now these are pretty much just for like really minor stuff. Uh, even then, you know, like I, I have this one just having new 3DS faceplates. I can just consolidate that and put that in the 3DS bin because the 3DS bin doesn't have that much stuff in it. So, uh, you know, there's still stuff I'm looking to do. Um, but, uh, yeah, this stuff, uh, you know, like I said, it's not that fun. You know, obviously it's cool to display this kind of stuff, but I have too much stuff and, uh, I, I'm just, I, I want to just be able to grab this stuff whenever I want and use it and then put it back and know that it's in a safe place that you know it's not going to get hurt it's not going to get damaged not going to get dusty not going to get lost uh this just works incredibly well for me and there's probably more bins than you may expect because uh you know there's stuff over here there's stuff down here but uh you know i got some stuff uh some stuff in the way uh, like a Guitar Hero. I never owned a Guitar Hero set until recently. Uh, I found a Guitar Hero World Tour set. I was, uh, listed as brand new online. And, uh, I, I opened the trusty drum set out and, uh, the, uh, the, uh, you know, symbols look like that. And I was so happy that I bought it for brand new. The kick pedal had a bunch of hair on it. But, uh, yeah, I still have... Some organization to do. Uh, this entire setup looked quite nice a little bit ago, but uh, I moved some consoles in here because, um, as you can tell, like I have my Wii U's and uh, my Wii's in here, um, and uh, the Tatsunoko versus Capcom fight stick. Uh, that was another thing that was in storage for a little bit. I'm very, very thankful that I uh, that I do have that in uh, uh, now, uh, you know, at my house because uh, it was in storage for a while, and I've always I always wanted this. Back in the day, I really wanted it because uh, I wanted a fight stick. I wanted a fight stick not only just 
to have a fight stick but you know just to use for other things because you know th this one just plugged into a uh, a Wii remote so I was like oh I can use that for all kinds of things and uh, I remember seeing the Tatsunoko versus Capcom fight stick and I was like oh that looks quality and uh, I finally got it and I'm like that is quality but uh you know like it's it's something that I'm like yeah I'm, not, I'm probably not going to use that that much so uh you know it's something that I was like all right well that's going in the storage unit this had the same fate as DJ Hero. That's embarrassing. But uh, yeah, I I think it'd be great to kind of have a like a Guitar Hero, uh, you know, like bin for the guitars there. Uh, you know, probably put the drum set just like over here somewhere. Uh, there's still a bit to do, but uh, you know, I've I've made progress. What I'm just very happy about is uh, this just makes the collection much more accessible. Uh, it's way easier to come in here, grab something real quick, uh, use it, put it back. Uh, you know, back at the apartment, uh, everything was clustered so much that it, you know, like it, it was something where I'd clean everything up, I'd organize it all. And then immediately after that, I'd have to grab something and grabbing it and like, you know, trying to find it, I'd pretty much tear through the entire closet and like all that organization would be for naught. So... Uh, now, even though, you know, that, that's always going to happen, you know, no matter how many times you organize something, you're going to have to go in and, uh, you know, uh, grab something and then, you know, mess up all your organization. Uh, but, uh, this at least makes it a lot easier to just do that. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm very happy about that. However, this is a cluster of consoles after all. So where are the other consoles? Well, uh, they're in this closet right here. This is, uh, right across the, uh, the basement. Uh, so uh, pretty much over there is where the desk is and right next to my desk is uh, where that closet is uh, with the water heater and all the other games. But uh, yeah, this is uh, where all the uh, the uh, game console boxes are and uh, I've actually done this recently. I put them in all bins. So uh, yeah, I definitely can't store as much as I really want to, but the bins help. I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry for the amount of bins here, but they do they do really help. Um, because uh, it is nice to just be able to go like, okay, I need 3DS boxes. Boom, all in this box is all 3DS stuff. Uh, I, I pr probably would want to label everything, though I haven't labeled the boxes that are kind of self-explanatory what's in them. Like, this is all Nintendo Switch. This is all GameCube stuff. Um, you know, this one, I'm like, okay, well, I can fit the NES top loader and the Nintendo IQ. <laughs> And I'm like, okay, well, I can only see the top loader from this angle, so I'm going to have to label this. And the same with like, okay, well, this is Microvision, Gamecom, and Selected Game Machine. And this is 64DD and TV Game 15. Um, so there's a lot of, uh, there, there, there's some that are very much like, you know, this is all Game Boy, and uh, this is Super Nintendo and Super Famicom. So uh, there, there's a lot of stuff that's like, uh, you know, very specific, like, oh, this is one specific thing. This is all DS. Um, I still should probably uh, label that all, um, but uh, I, I did it this way so then I can add stuff later on because, you know, like there's definitely room to add more stuff. So I could say, oh, this is all Game Boy and uh, the Gamecom, I don't, I don't know. So I can just add the label right there if I want to. Uh, and, uh, you know, I could add stuff to this box because it's just PSP, PSV, and Sony Xperia Play. And then a bunch of stuff down here. Uh, the bigger consoles are harder to uh, <laughs> store. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to do uh, for those. I think some of the consoles are going to have to go in the water heater room uh, where this one can be just a couple of, uh, you know, a bunch of consoles, uh, you know, just random ones, whichever ones I see fit pretty much. Uh, the entire point of this is to keep the boxes, uh, you know, nice and pristine, um, you know, keep them away from uh, any any damage. It, this does help because, you know, like, I, this is a basement, so, you know, basements are a little more prone to flooding. Uh, so, uh, you know, if something does happen, uh, you know, the bins are going to kind of protect these boxes. At least they would protect them much more than if they just weren't in bins at all. The problem is the bins do take up more space. So, you know, I do have uh, more stuff out here that... Uh, you know, I don't really have room for. I mean, I have room, but I, I want it to be more organized. I don't want to stack a bunch of uh, extra console boxes on top of these boxes because, uh, you know, I just I want the bins to be easily accessible. I don't want them to be, uh, 
you know, just like have a bunch of uh, game console boxes stacked on top of them. But uh, yeah, this is where all of the uh, game consoles are. So I, I have two closets now that are, uh, you know, full of uh, game console boxes and game and accessory boxes. And uh, yeah, it may not be the most fun thing in the world. You know, like uh, this, like uh, this looks like homework. But I hope this kind of maybe gave you some storage solution ideas. Uh, at the very least, it could help you brainstorm on what not to do. But this is pretty much uh, what I'm thinking about doing because it helps uh, preserve the game boxes. And uh, for what I do, you know, like I make uh, videos about these things. So, uh, you know, I need access to them very quickly. Uh, you know, if, if I need to talk about a 3DS, a specific 3DS model, I can immediately like open this bin up and boom, all the 3DS boxes are there. Originally, I would just kind of stack them all in a very specific manner. And uh, that way, you know, like, hey, you can store more that way, but it's also kind of hard to find a specific thing if you need it. And this way, it's much easier for me to find something immediately, grab it, take it out, and it doesn't affect the placement of anything else. Because, you know, what if I needed, like, this uh, Yoshi Edition 3DS Excel box for whatever reason, and that was at, like, the very bottom of a stack? And it's just like, well, everything's gotta move, and, you know, maybe it's at the very bottom of a stack, and, you know, it's behind a bunch of stuff. Well, then I have to tear apart the entire thing. This way, everything is just organized much better, and it makes accessing them far easier. So yeah, uh, it's always a progress uh, when you have a place like this, uh, kind of organizing, cleaning, maintaining it is always a progress. You're never gonna be fully done. But uh, for the time being, I think it's in a state where uh, you can look at it and go, Jesus Christ, Scott. <laughs>